Welcome everyone to the latest Coffee Break webinar by RIB Costex. My name is Francesca Nottingham and I am a Costex consultant in RIB Software. As you can see on screen, this month's topic is rate libraries, so we'll have a look at how you would use these in the software. For those of you who don't know what Costex is, or for those who have never used it, Costex is a fully integrated measuring and estimating solution with universal applications, supporting everything from hand-drawn sketches to PDFs, DWGs, all the way through to 3D models, BIM files, and everything in between. As we can see from this matrix, RIB Costex is available in a variety of licenses, ranging from offering all functionality to a fairly limited option, depending on your estimating requirements. Delving deeper into each functionality, let's look at the components, breaking down how each of them are cohesive with one another, bringing you an all-in-one service. You have your takeoff options to start with, whether you're using 3D BIM or 2D drawings, Costex provides accurate data, enabling you to utilise this data within your workbook. So our workbooks are just like Excel spreadsheets, but they are our own version. They still have the ability to use formulas and functions, making them very easy to navigate and use. We then have revisions tracking. Now this offers an accurate method of comparing a previous revision with a new one, giving you multiple ways to highlight, identify and quantify any changes meaning you're always up to date with the latest cost implications. Once you've completed your estimate, you then have the opportunity to produce a report. Now we offer various standard report templates for you to use. Alternatively, you can customise your own report, producing a professional quality output. Don't forget to check out the RIB Costex YouTube channel where we upload our coffee break webinars and you can also subscribe so you get notified of the latest videos and kept up to date with the newest features and how-to videos. So this month's webinar, as previously mentioned, we'll be reviewing the functionality of rate libraries used in the workbook view within Costex. Firstly, let's discuss what rate libraries are. So they allow the ability to build up your cost estimate from a central database of rates. So we use these in our workbooks. They are accessed in a similar way to dimension groups and are managed within the system administration. The topics we'll be exploring in this webinar are adding a new rate library, importing a rate library, editing a rate library, composite rates in the rate library and using rate libraries in workbooks. So let's take a look at rate libraries. Firstly, let's look at where we can access rate libraries from. So we're in the workbook view and you can see where we would normally pick up our dimension groups. There are also a number of other libraries to access, one of which is rates. So you can see I have a list here of various rate libraries that I can access. These are managed in the system administration. So let's open this up and take a look at how we would add a new rate library. So again, you can see my list here that I've got available. Let's actually see how we would add a rate library within the system. So I would just need to go to this button here. So insert, and we're just gonna give this a name of webinar rates. So this is the name of your rate library. Okay, and then we'll press insert. Once we've got that, we can go in and we can start to add the rates that we want to add. So let's say we're going to add in um, a concrete item. So an item code, we'll call it con. We'll give it a location, so it's default location. And then in the description, we'll give it 20 MPA concrete. Okay, we can then give it a rate group. Um, so let's just call this substructure. And give it a unit of measurement so this is going to be meters cubed and we're going to give it a rate of 400 pounds then we press insert and as you can see we've got our rate in here so we've got the item code we've got a description we've got the group uh, we've also got the rate. So all the information that we've just added is now in our library. Um, let's add another one. So press insert again. And this is going to be for reinforcement steel. So my code is going to be Rio steel. My location again is going to be default location. And we're just going to call this reinforcement steel. My rate group is going to be substructure again. My unit of measure is going to be kilograms this time. And we're going to give this a rate of 
four. Okay, so then you press update and then we can see uh, when I come out of here, I can go into my rate libraries and I've got my rates available that I can just access whenever I need to. Okay, if we go back into the system administration, we'll go back into rate libraries. Um, and this time we're going to have a look at how we would import a rate library. So you can do this using the import button. Um, you will see that there are a lot of options for where to access a rate library you want to bring in. We'll be bringing ours in via uh, import costex CSV. So what I'll do is I'll show you the CSV file uh, first that we're going to bring in um, and then show you what that looks like and then we're going to bring it in using this um, option. So I will find the file for you. Okay, so this is my CSV file. So this is my rate library that I've created in Excel. Uh, let's just make it a bit bigger. Okay, so we've got um, in column A, we've got an I code or a B code. So the I code means item, the B code means build up to that item. You've then got the rate code. So that's like what we were just entering with the uh, con, for example, for our concrete. We've then got the description in column C. We've got the group in column D. We've got the unit of measure in column E. And in column F, we've got the rate. Now, as you can see, um, there are some formulas in here. So there are some instances where they're not necessarily hard typed information. Um, we could be telling Costex where to get that information from. So for example, if I scroll back here, we can see this is a build up item. So I've got 20 MPA concrete. Um, and we're telling Costex to get the rate uh, con 20. Okay, and then we've also got some formulas here doing calculations for us. We've also entered in, so column G is our location column. So if I scroll down, you can see there's a number of different items here um, with various formulas. And when I bring this into Costex, it's gonna understand those formulas and then create the library for me. So I'll just come out of here and then go back to our import button, click on import Costex CSV. Project rates is what I want to bring in. Um, I can change the name if I want to, I'm gonna leave it the same. I'm gonna give it a default location um, and then notes can be anything. Um, it will just give you the file path, but you can delete this if you want to. Press okay. So now it's been brought into our rate libraries in our system administration. We can now access this over here whenever we want to. If we wanted to edit anything in this, you can double click this or you can press edit up here. So for example, let's uh, double click on this item and it's 85 pounds here. And if I wanted to update it to 90 pounds will update and you can see that's now updated there. Now that was an item with just a fixed figure. If you do have an item, for example, which might be um, a build up, so it's built up of multiple different rates, um, which ultimately gives your uh, total rate. So let's find an example. Uh, I can show you how you would go about um, editing that. So let's take our ceiling finishes, for example. So I will double click into here. You can see this field has now been greyed out and that is because there's build up behind it. I can't just type over that and uh, give it a new rate. I have to go in and see what the build up is. So I can select this button here and this takes me to a new window which shows me exactly how this was built up. So I can see that there's three um, build up items here, each with their own rate. Um, and I can see how we got to the total of £72.50. Um, if I select the green text, you can see, uh, like what I was showing you on the CSV file earlier, you've got the formula of equals x get rate, and then it's asking uh, for, or it's looking for the code, uh, the item code or the rate code, um, which is allocated to that specific item. So you can come in here and you can edit this how you want to. Um, so it all depends on how you've built up your composite rate. So if I come out of here and go into my workbook, 
I can show you how I would input this. So firstly, if you just had a rate to input, for example, let's go into our ceiling finishes. Um, let's go to our project rates and go into ceiling finishes. We can literally just pick this up, put it across, and if you drop it into the B column like so, you will also get the description. So I'll press update and you can see I've got my rate code, I've got my rate description um, and I've got my rate here. Now if I pick it up and put it across and just pop it into my rate column, then I've just got the rate. So for example, if you already had your description in here, maybe you've hard typed it or perhaps it's come from your phraseologies, um, you don't have to overwrite it, you can just populate the rate column and not the whole row. Okay, so it's as easy as that. What you can also do is you can pick it up and not have that live link. So just to remind you, a live link is anything in green text. So as I clicked on this, you can see this is live linked to my project rates rate library and this code. So if I was to update anything, then this will automatically get updated. So if I went back into my system administration and edited anything in that build up, it would then reflect in here. Alternatively, if I hold down my alt key and click this, and bring it across you can see it's brought the rate across but this time it's brought it across in a blue text which means there's build up behind it we can now go into that level and see exactly what we have got which brings us to our 72 pound 50 total so if we edited this at all uh, what we can also do is copy that rate to the rate library so you don't always have to generate your rates in the system administration. You can generate them within your workbook and then build your rate library from there. So what I mean by that is if I was to add some insulation to this, for example, so let's pick this up, populate this, press update and give it a quantity. You can see my rate has now updated to 90 pounds. If I return back up to the level, you can see it's now total. So I've got X sum rate, um, and I know that I've got some build up behind that. Now, all I would need to do if I wanted to add this rate to my rate library. So all you would need to do is just right click and say copy to rate library. Now this window pops up and you want it to go into the rate library that we're working in. So project rates, you need to enter an item code. So I'm just going to call this um, PLB. INS because it's my plasterboard with the insulation. You need the location, so default location. You've got your description, so I'm going to change this to and insulation. You can change the rate group, so I'm going to put this in ceiling finishes. Um, you can change the unit of measure if you want to. You can alter the rate, um, and you've got this option down here, so maintain live links. Um, this will make sure that anything that's pulled over will be automatically updated if you change anything in your rate library. So let's just click insert and you can see that's now made available in my rate library. So you don't necessarily have to generate your rate library outside of Costex. Um, you don't necessarily have to generate your rate library within the system admin. You can do it from your workbook like I just showed you with copying it to a rate library. So depending on how you want to manage it, you can have a database outside of Costex, like I showed you with the Excel spreadsheet. Um, might be easier for you to update that way. Alternatively, you can do it within the system. That draws a conclusion to the Rate Libraries webinar. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to our channel if you want to be updated with the latest how-to videos and tips and tricks. And please like this video if you found it useful.